Right, so I'm gonna show you how you can leverage AI to write content like this for you with a featured image, with a table of contents, with proper structuring, right, with internal links, in article images, in article videos that are relevant not only to the article itself, but relevant to the section which they're in, uh, external links, so linking out to authoritative sources in your niche, more internal links, so linking out to other pages, pages on your site, sorry, more in article images, all this, bullets, tables, and of course, a, a call to action down here to your product or service, to your offering. Now, here's exactly how we're gonna do this. It isn't with ChatGPT because unfortunately you cannot do this. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get started. Sorry, sorry. It's with the tool called tryjournalist.com. So I'll leave a link for this in the description. You have three articles for free, so you can try this out uh, as we go. Pretty straightforward, what you do is you go to tryjournalist.com, access your dashboard, then go to generate articles. Now, there's all these modes, simple mode, titles mode, keywords mode. I'm gonna focus right now on the advanced mode because that's where all the juice comes from. But Going to this one real quick is essentially the simplest mode. You give it a URL description, select how many articles you want to generate, select the language you can choose from over 150 different languages. So if you're targeting, targeting sorry, international markets and producing content uh, through the international markets, France, Portugal, Spain, Greece, India, whatever, you can just select the language here and just click generate. The titles mode, pretty self-explanatory, just give it some titles, select the language, and it's going to generate content based on those titles. Keywords mode, you give it some keywords, and again, it's going to generate content based on those keywords. Now. Here's where the fun begins. It's with the advanced mode. So first things first is you gotta create a preset. Now, there's all of these steps right here, but we'll just start from the top. So base, business description. So the generation mode could be a business description, specific titles or keyword base. So let's just do specific titles. Let's just go with uh, how to drive a cart as a beginner. Actually, how to drive a cart as a beginner. Let's just do other um, tips for driving a cart as a beginner. Let's just do this too for now, just for test purposes. Now, I'll brand, I won't dive too deep in this right now, but brand essentially what it does is with, if you click here, right, you can set up a brand and essentially you just connect this AI with your brand and your brand has multiple assets associated with it, right? There's your YouTube channel, if you have one, your Twitter, your brand's Twitter, of course, your Instagram, your TikTok, uh, your website itself, right? Some text documents, maybe you have some private or public text documents. So all these, right, there's more. All these are assets, all these are brand assets. What you do is essentially you connect journalists with your brand and now journalists will produce brand tailored content. So it will understand and know and will know as much as you do, as you, you being the founder and the creator of your brand, journalists say, I know we'll know as much as you about your brand so we can produce brand tailored content in your brand's tone of voice, with your brand's images, with your brand's mannerisms. So yeah, that's an advanced feature right here, but it's pretty cool because it allows you to not generate generic content. So that's pretty cool. You can try it out for yourself. Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description so you can try it out for yourself. So let's just not choose one right now. And step one is done. Step two, content. So I'm gonna do English, English, uh, American English. Uh, so that's that. You can choose again for over 150 different languages. If again, you're targeting international markets, for example, uh, if you have a Shopify store or an e-commerce brand, and you wanna target the Spanish market, you can, you know, you can set up to produce articles uh, in, in Spanish, right? It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Then creativity levels, you can select this based on what you want your brand to come across. For, for example, more creative or original articles, more correct or factual. Let's leave it this as correct or factual because we are generating uh, how-to articles, right? How to drive a cart, something somewhat serious. So we want it to be somewhat correct or factual, right? Not that much creative or original. Then the tone of voice, I guess we could keep it uh, formal, right? You could do sarcastic, academic, funny, you could do whatever you want. But again, we could just keep it uh, formal right here just to for tests. Point of view, you can select first person plural, first person singular, second person or third person. Again, this is allow allows you to, keep, to have a bit more customization over the content that's being generated. Let's just do first person plural because I think it's, uh, actually let's just do first person singular because I, th I think it's better. Then custom instructions, I won't add any of these right now, but this again is where you can add a bit more or have a bit more control over the output, so over the content. Again, you can play around with this just like you can play around with all this. Gen generate a couple of articles. If you don't like it, just play around with this and things will get better as you iterate. Now, set three, structure, um, call to action. So let's say, for example, my, uh, how to write a cart. Let's say my website is uh, this one right here, right? Let's say this is my main website right here. So it's the website I want to send people to, right? So my offering is people booking your call to rent out my go-kart track and rent out my carts, right? So that's my website right here. I'll just add it here to call to action. So what this will do is at the end, at the bottom of each article, it's gonna add a call to action to my website right here. 
in a way that makes sense. So both the paragraph as well as the anchor text, which is the little text you click to go to the site, are going to be relevant to this uh, website right here. Again, I'll, we'll, it's, it's better that I show you than that I tell you. So let's just leave it, leave it like this and we'll see at the end how it looks. Then internal linking. So we want to have the ability for every content that's at our, our, an article right here, sorry, to link out to other pages on our site automatically in a way that makes sense, whether that's other blog posts or maybe the contact page or maybe the home page or the services page, we want to be able to auto the internal linking. That is the anchor text right here, right? As well as the, the page that it goes out to. Again, all this is gonna be relevant. The paragraph in which the, the link is in place is relevant. Also the anchor text, the little text you click is relevant to the page it's linking out to. And we wanna automate this. So the way we do this is just add in here your our, our sitemap. So again, this is not my site, but um, if I were to go to forward slash sitemap.xml, I should be able to have this site's uh, sitemap right here. Um, let's see here what we have here. Again, yeah, so sitemap essentially is a, uh, a database of all the site's pages. So just copy this right here and paste it in here, right? And now we have our sitemap. So again, if we set up internal linking, automatic internal linking, on the articles you generate, there's gonna be links out to the content. So other pages on our site. And we'll, I'll show you this in just a second here. External linking, so we just click here to enable it. What this will do is essentially on the article, let's say this is an article about finance. It's gonna have automatic external links to authoritative sources in the niche. In this case, niche, niche is finance, so maybe link out to TechCrunch, maybe link out to Investopedia, Bloomberg, all these authoritative sources in the finance niche. So. Let's just do, do enable this automatically. We could add them manually if we'd like, but just, let's just do uh, automatic external links. Close this one. Images, uh, there's a bunch of images you can do here. You can select stock images. You can select Google Assistant free photos. You can even add your custom images, so your brand's custom images, or two of these um, AI generation models, so DALI and Stable Diffusion. Let's just do DALI 3 because I really like how these look like. Enable featured image and enable in article images. That's it. And then number seven, automate YouTube videos. So again, in the content that's going to be generated, there's going to be automatic YouTube videos in there, right? That's are relevant to both the content and the paragraph they're included in. So that's it. Let's just create the new preset right here. Let's call it a name. Let's call it cart. Create new preset right here. And if we go to generate articles, advanced mode, select the preset we just created, click generate, and all the content that's being generated right now, so these little articles are going to be based on the preset. Now, while this does generate, I'm going to show you exactly or show you more features of Journalist. So you can set up an auto blog, which essentially what it does is you connect Journalist AI right here with your blog, right? And your blog could be any of these. We just go here to integrations, new integration. You can connect to WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, Blogger, Zapier, or even an external API. But you can connect Journalist AI with your blog and Journalist AI is going to generate Plus, it's going to publish content to your blog. These are all individual blog posts. It's going to be publishing these blog posts to your blog every single day, week, hour. And if we expand in one of these blog posts, so expanding on use, all these blog posts are going to have a featured image, a table of contents, proper content structure, in-article images, in-article videos, internal links, so linking out to other pages in your site, or even these could, be, could interlink between each other in a way that makes sense. We're gonna link, you're gonna have external links, so linking out to authoritative sources in your niche. It's gonna have bullets, it's gonna have tables, it's gonna have calls to action to your products or services, right? On autopilot. If you go here to auto blogs and just click edit in this one, we can set the frequency. We can do 100 posts, <clears throat> excuse me, every single week, every 12 hours, every six hours. Most people just do five posts every single week and click save. And again, every week, every day of the week, uh, actually, yeah, every day of the week, a journalist is gonna be publishing one post. So five posts per week. Um, let's see how these ones are going. And these have generated now. So just click here to view, <clears throat> excuse me, and then just click here view again. So there we go. Tips for driving a car as a beginner. All this was, again, the images were AI generated. This was generated with DALI 3. Uh, there we go, the interactive table of contents. So what is carting with a link to our site right here. So carting provides an exhibition experience for beginners and seasoned drivers alike. So this is an internal link, so linking out to a page on our site, right? That's relevant to what the, uh, the content is about. Benefits of carting, this is an internal link as well. This is an internal link, more in article images. Again, these are all AI generated and look great. This is an internal link as well, more in article images and in article link, uh, video, sorry, again, the video is not only relevant to the article itself, to so the whole article, but it's also relevant to this section. So this section is about cornering 
And this video is about how to corner in a cart. Again, all this is tailored. Uh, this is an internal link as well. More images. This is an internal link as well. This is a link. Uh, uh, um, bullets right here. Again, giving this article more rich things right here. And again, book your racing experience online today. So if you click here, this is again a call to action to the this one right here to our homepage so people can book a call. Right again, on the bottom of every single content you generate, because with the preset we set up for automatic call to action, we're gonna have a automatic call to action. Book your racing experience today. It's gonna link out to the site, right? To the page. We could have we could have done the call to action go to the book page, maybe made more sense, but again, you can iterate with this. So that's the power of this. Now you can go ahead and just see the other one. We can just publish this to integration. We can click post integration one by one or go here and publish all to integration. We'll be posting all two to our integrations. Now, our integrations that I showed you before can be your WordPress site, your Shopify store, Ghost, Weeks, Webflow, Loggers, API, or even an external API. So that depends on what you want to do. Um, and you did notice that it did not create any external links on this first article. So let's see if it did create some external links on this one, because we're not going to be forcing any linking here. If it doesn't make sense to add a link, we will not add a link, right? We're not going to be forcing linking right here. So this is an internal link, this two, this right here as well, and this right here as well. So yeah, in this case, we did not add any internal links, right? Now this could be a small bug on our end, which you can easily fix, so don't worry about that. But again, yeah, so on this case, we add any external links because it didn't make sense, but we could have done that if we wish to. Again, this is the power of this tool, right? Journalist AI, you just connect this with your website. It's going to be doing the queue research, which is something I haven't showed you before. It's going to be generating the content. It's going to be publishing the content for you on autopilot. Queue research, if I go here to show you this, go down here, click queue monitors. I want to add a new monitor right now. Actually, let's add a new monitor right here. Click, click new monitor, add in our website. Let's just do carting and US English and just click create new monitor. Now what this will do is it will give us keywords that we should be targeting, right? Keywords that have more or less a decent search volume so that I have some monthly searches, but have low competition. And these keywords that it's going to give us are based on our site and based on the competition, right? So if we go here, best go-karts, right? A difficulty of three, a thousand monthly search. Go-kart birthday party, a thousand searches per month, a keyword difficulty of four. So it tends to be easy to rank for these keywords. Go-kart party, go-karting party, sorry, go-karting deals, go-kart racing birthday party, right? So a thousand searches per month, a keyword difficulty of five. So it should be easy enough to generate content for this. So just click here, the ones you want to generate, and have journalists generate content for you. Again, as I said before, journalist AI, you connect it to your site, whatever it is, WordPress, Wix, Shopify, or Blogger, it's going to do the keyword research, that's a K, it's going to generate the content, and if you want, it's going to publish the content on autopilot for you every single day, week, month, hour, right? And on top of that, it also indexes the content, right? If you go here to indexers, you can set up an indexer to have journalist AI connect with your Google Search Console to force and submit the URLs for the posts you've just created to Google so it can index them faster on search engines, which is super, super, super powerful. Yeah, that's that's essentially what I want to show you today the power of this little tool and then it can be used for virtually any business because it's not just some generic AI content. It's content that's based on your brand. It's content that uses uh, your brand's images. It uses videos, adds internal links, adds external links, adds calls to action, adds all these uh, feature-rich things to your content. Super par powerful. I'll leave a link for this in the description. It's tryjournalist.com if you want to try it out. I'll leave a link for it in the description. I'll also leave a link in the pinned comment. You get access to three free articles, so if you like it, let me know. If you don't like them, just go here, open this little bubble and tell me why you didn't like them and we'll refund you the credits and we'll do all this for you. Uh, so not, not refund you the credits because they're free, uh, but we'll give you more credits for, to, for you to try this out even, uh, even more. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.